In the previous weeks, you learned about the different subcomponents of an electric vehicle and what each of those, what each of the subcomponents uses and functionalities are. Now we're going to take an exercise. We're going to do an exercise, a very interesting one. It's about a crossover SUV that I test drove just a few weeks ago. And what we're going to do is analyze the different subcomponents of that specific electric vehicle. And we can, so we can develop an intuition on when we are looking at an EV, how to identify what is the charger, what is the inverter, what is the DC-DC, where is the battery pack and those kinds of things. Okay, so in this specific, uh, specific example, I have had test drone a uh, SUV, a ZEV, uh, MG Motor ZEV SUV, crossover SUV. And what I found is that the external body or the chassis of the SUV is very similar to the ICE powertrain that this the same company sells. So what they've drawn, done is uh, that they have changed, they've kept the chassis the same, but they've changed um, the powertrain from an ICE car to a electric car. And right away when you open the hood of the vehicle, you can see that the, the hood wasn't specifically designed to hold um, electric powertrain components, but it was then uh, modified in certain ways to then uh, to then successfully hold these different subcomponents. So let's start by identifying the different subcomponents. And for that, we're going to go from the left to the right and uh, analyze each of the components that we see. So the first thing that we see on the left is the charger unit. So this is the onboard charger that we had talked about in the previous lectures. And one of the use cases or the responsibilities of this unit is to convert the AC voltage that is coming from the charge port um, and convert that to DC, which then charges the battery. Now, how do we identify this component? Well, the first thing to do is to look at the label. There is the yellow warning label and then the white specification label that is on the unit. Now, if you read the specification label closely, you'll see that the input voltage uh, specified is AC and then the output voltage specified is DC. And also you can identify this by looking at the back side of this subcomponent. And in that you could see um, that there is an AC input going into the component and that input, the wires, if you follow those wires, it is going to the charge port, which is on the, in the front side of the vehicle and the output in, in uh, which can be seen in the orange line, orange wires, and that is the DC output going to the battery. Now, any of the orange connections that you see, those are all high voltage DC connections. And this is specified when you are going to certify a vehicle, high voltage connections must be shown clearly for an electric vehicle. And what is considered to be high voltage? Where is the line between high voltage to low voltage? It depends from country to country, from uh, from certification body to certification body, right? But uh, for example, even something as low as 28 volt DC in some areas of the world is considered uh, high voltage DC. So here's an exercise for you as well. Go look up uh, what is high voltage DC specification in your country. Where is the uh, line drawn between low voltage and high voltage? And when you are entering high voltage, there are a lot more um, just there's a lot more care that needs to be taken at every point of the EV uh, manufacturing process, servicing process, um, and also in emergency response. So the reason why these wires or um, these connections are very bright orange color is for service staff, for manufacturing staff, and for um, even for emergency responders to be able to identify where is the high voltage connections. So any orange wires you see are all high voltage DC. So let's follow those wires and you can see that uh, the next thing in the middle of the vehicle uh, is the inverter unit. The reason why you can identify that this is the inverter unit is because there are two high voltage lines going into the unit and then three high voltage, in this case, AC lines coming out and going to the motor controller, which is sitting right at the bottom of it. So what is happening here? Well, what's happening is that there is DC voltage coming from the battery pack 
and that DC voltage is then converted into a three phase AC which is then fed to the motor controller which controls a synchronous motor. So this electric vehicle is running on a synchronous motor which needs a three phase AC input. So the job of this middle subcomponent, the inverter or the drive unit, right? These are all different names for it. The job of this is to convert the DC from the pack to that three phase AC. Now that three phase AC then enters the motor controller and that then motor controller is switching the motor windings, uh, stator windings at the right time to then turn the motor in a specific way.